Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. Uh, so today we're going to talk about statistics and how if somebody repeats a statistic over and over and over again or something that sounds like a statistic, people may grow to accept a false correlation. I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. you got to watch this whole video. By somebody, I'm talking about the president. And by the people who believe it, I'm talking about his base because they tend to not fact check or critically think. And the concept that he keeps repeating that sounds like a statistic is this whole Democrat run cities thing. When he says that, what he's trying to do, his intent is to establish a causal relationship between being a Democrat run city, so Democratic policies, and high crime. That's what he's trying to do. There's a couple problems with this. First, pretty much all cities are Democrat run because the Democratic Party appeals to people who live in cities. Republicans tend to appeal to those who live in rural areas. Right? You can check this for yourself by pulling up any electoral map, looking at the counties. The counties that voted blue are where major cities are. Okay. But if this concept was true, that democratic policies led to high crime, it would be true of states as well. Because if you're just looking at cities, of course it's going to be Democrat, because almost all cities are Democrat. But states are different. And at the very least, you would expect to find, like Illinois, because he's always talking about Chicago, you would expect to find Illinois in the top five, at least the top ten, right? So what happens if we look at that? 2018 violent crime data for uh, states, top ten. Alaska, New Mexico, Tennessee, Arkansas, Nevada, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, South Carolina, and Arizona. All but two of these voted for Trump. All but three have Republican governors. Weird. But see, that only tells part of the story. What we'd have to do is find a deviation. Have to find something that, uh, that is outside of the norm. So what we would need to do is look for cities, look at the, the top five cities, and uh, see if they line up with the states. That'd be a good idea. So, there's a company called SafeWise, a security company, and they put out a product that ranks the most dangerous cities using the same DOJ data set, and they use a methodology of violent and property crime. Okay. So, number one, Anchorage lines up with Alaska. Number two, Albuquerque lines up with New Mexico. Number three is Memphis, lines up with number three, Tennessee. Number four is Wichita. Doesn't line up with, with Arkansas. Number five is Lubbock. Doesn't line up with Nevada. Interesting thing about Wichita and Lubbock, they're Republican-run. They have Republican mayors. So the deviation here appears to show that Republicans actually have higher crime rates in states and in cities because they're the deviation. What about Chicago? Illinois is ranked 19th, right behind South Dakota. And uh, Neighborhood Scout, which is a real estate type thing, they use violent crime. Because I don't want to just use violent and property crime because people say that'll throw it off. So if you just use violent crime, which is what the president tends to focus on when he's talking about Chicago, it's worth noting that Chicago is 64th behind a whole bunch of uh, towns you wouldn't really expect. So, what did we learn here? That the problem is actually Republicans, right? No. No, not really. There is absolutely zero causal link between a party being in control and crime rates. That's not a thing. He's just made that up. I put this together by using 
violent crime rates for the state, violent and property for the city, and then violent again for Chicago. If you're not comparing apples to apples, it doesn't work. So don't cite this. This is just an illustration to prove that it, it's garbage. This whole idea is garbage. Um, crime is related to poverty, income inequality, lack of access to education, stuff like that. Not having opportunities, that's what it has a causal link to, to, to crime. Not red or blue. That, that's not a thing. Doesn't really exist. Um, this is just more worthless tweeting from the president. There's no basis for it. It's just him attempting to smear Chicago. Why he would have an issue with Chicago, I don't know. It's almost like maybe somebody he doesn't like kind of came into politics from there. And he just won't let it go because he's a petty, petty man. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.